Well, folks, I'm going to venture down a little rabbit hole today. Excuse me as I adjust the camera. Now I'm looking into the lens. I got to thinking of some of the idiotic things that our government is outlawing and trying to write up laws for such as the bump stock calling a piece of plastic a machine gun and you might as well grab yourself a cup of coffee this is going to be a long winded one and if you've seen my little short blurb of coffee he, coffee's on this is from that pot alrighty Let's say the government starts getting everything their way. Lord help us. The American people don't stand up and put their pants on the right way. Let's say they outlaw having... Oh, let's say... Uh, let's Hatchet. I guess my tomahawk I had for the black powder rendezvous would fall on that. Couldn't have a handle on it because, oh, that, that could be uh, dangerous. Can't have a sharp edge on it. You might hurt yourself. Can't have a hammer head on there for pounding in your tent stakes, you might squish your thumb. Can't have that. You, the government couldn't take care of you. You see, they want to be the great nanny state. Dictate what you can and cannot do. What, what uh, you can have. and Oh my, how you live your life. You might not even be able to buy groceries without a government official telling you what you should eat. If they outlaw certain type razors, there are certain collectors out there that collect straight edge razors. Or there may be even a barber or a beautician that still uses a straight-edge razor to, to uh, finish up certain areas of the haircut or the shave, and they use the straight-edge razor. This is a part of a collection here. Picked that up at an antique store there in Springfield. Or maybe, like some of my friends in Europe have told me, they can't even have knives, fixed blade knives with blades on them, maybe even that long. Or even they can't go outside with a kitchen knife to cut weeds that may have popped up in their flower beds. They might threaten that weed. Or their neighbor might feel threatened that they have a knife. Talking about knives, most of us know what these are. Quite a few of us have a multi-tool, whatever name brand it is. The, the government might decide that the American people are too stupid to operate tools. Might outlaw these, might outlaw a screwdriver. Because somebody might hurt themselves. Lord forbid. Things get even more ridiculous. 
if you have a pair of binoculars for whoops wrong end no I had the right end they were just inside anyway for looking around and lo and behold you could be a spy oh my we can't have you on in binoculars you might see something like a birdie you might be a bird watcher you can't have your binoculars Lord help you if you have a camera with a zoom lens you could be considered a spy and and we can't have that we got to tell you what you got to do the government has gotten to the point where they have the power over the people instead of we the people being in charge of the government and also my European friends have said that they have to have a special license to own and keep an air rifle such as this. This is unloaded. I'm not even going to touch the trigger. But I wonder if I can go fly hunting with this. Anyway, uh, to even target practice with an air rifle, you have to have special permission in some places. Because they're afraid you might do something to hurt someone. The government has overstepped its usefulness and become a dictative tyrant in many situations. Now, this last item here maybe not the last item <laughs> hold on coffee they might decide that coffee is unhealthy for you and start regulating the amount of coffee you can have. But our government, in its great nincompoop wisdom, in one of its build back bitter bill, has made financing for crack pipes free crack pipes to those that want them. That don't make sense. They are trying to protect us from ourselves, but yet they promote killing ourselves with drugs. I believe that's to finance their associates in the drug cartels. Now, this part here, I've got it in the half cock. It's not pointing at me. She is empty. They want to get rid of every firearm in America at a time when people are going to fight to save their country and their country had to hand out firearms. 
to people that barely knew how to operate them. Here in the United States, just about every single one of us, except for those snowflakes that see one of these things and go crying off into their safe room with wet diapers on, And that's wrong. It's taking rights away from the people. And in fact, even Jesus told his disciples to arm themselves just prior to his crucifixion on the cross. Because he knew he would not be there to protect them. The ones that carry the purse, let them be, let them have a sword. And the disciples came up with two swords amongst them. He said that would be enough. That's a loose translation. Look it up in Luke. I believe it's chapter 22. I forgot the verse. Where is it? Verse 22. I'll even have to look it up. But... For arming oneself for the protection of one's own life and liberty is not only a necessity, it is a God-given right. How many times did God tell Israel to pick up arms. And how many times when Israel destroyed their arms, they became a conquered nation. The United States is heading in that very same direction. They're wanting to destroy our arms so that any enemy of this nation could take it over. Whether it be a foreign power, our own government, or a radical group going through the streets, burning buildings, and trying to set up their own governments when they take over certain neighborhoods. Well, we've had our coffee, we've had our discussion here. Make your comments known in the comment section down below. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. I'll keep making them. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure other people know that we're still here. I'm not making anything off these videos. Thanks to the regs of YouTube. But it's their business. I'm just here trying to etch out a business of my own. You have a good day. Enjoy your coffee and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.